Thank you, Jahan Zewali from, yes, from uh, Airway News TV. Uh, former Prime Minister of Pakistan, Imran Khan, uh, is heading a protest march towards uh, capital city Islamabad, demanding fresh elections. But in his speech, he is once again blaming the United States uh, for regime change uh, in Pakistan. We talked about this many times. But the question is that this is a concern that a popular leader in Pakistan leading an anti american campaign. What we can do is uh, counter uh, disinformation, misinformation with information. And we've uh, said many times now, including in this briefing room, that there is no truth to these allegations. Uh, we won't let propaganda, we won't let, let misinformation or disinformation uh, get in the way of an important bilateral relationship, including our valued uh, bilateral partnership with Pakistan. Uh, we value that longstanding cooperation between the United States and Pakistan. Uh, we've always viewed a prosperous and democratic Pakistan uh, as critical to our interests. Uh, that remains unchanged. So general elections in Pakistan are expected in the next few months. Uh, uh, there were always question marks on the credibility of the elections process in Pakistan due to involvement of many factors. Have you ever raised this issue like fair and fair, free and fair elections in Pakistan? Uh, I understand in the case of Pakistan, uh, elections have not yet been scheduled. Uh, but we support the peaceful upholding of constitutional and democratic principles, uh, not just in Pakistan, around the world. These are issues that we discuss uh, with all of our partners uh, around the world. Sir, last question, Afghanistan. Uh, according to latest media reports, Afghanistan is turning into a safe haven for the international terrorist groups. Uh, what measures are being taken to prevent Afghanistan turning into a terrorist state? Sorry, what was the last part of the question? So what measures are being taken to prevent Afghanistan to be a terrorist state? Because, you know, all the terrorists from all over the world, like, going to Afghanistan and making their safe heavens. Uh, we've been very clear that the United States and uh, our partners uh, around the world won't allow <laughs> Afghanistan to become a safe haven for international terrorists who uh, pose a threat to the United States, to our partners around the world. Uh, the Taliban's actions in uh, sheltering the leader of al-Qaeda in Kabul, they fly in the face uh, of the Doha agreement and their repeated assurances uh, to the world that they would not allow Afghan territory to be used by terrorists to threaten the security of other countries. Um, of course, uh, we know how uh, that story ended. Uh, President Biden has been very clear uh, that we will maintain the capacity to act unilaterally if necessary to address any emergent uh, terrorist threats um, or concerns when it comes to Afghanistan. Our special representative for Afghanistan, Tom West, recently uh, met with the Taliban in Doha. Uh, they discussed uh, a number of U.S. interests, including counterterrorism, uh, and will continue to engage uh, with the Taliban pragmatically. Um, and uh, uh, following the, the sheltering of Ayman al-Zawahiri, the now deceased leader of al-Qaeda, I think it's fair to say that uh, the Taliban will uh, have to earn uh, the trust uh, of the world, and they'll only earn that through their own actions. A follow-up uh, on 